Learn how IVF with comprehensive chromosome screening can help us select the best embryos for transfer, which increases implantation rates, reduces your risk of miscarriage, and is the fastest path to a successful live birth. To understand how CCS works, it's helpful to learn about chromosomes and their role in human fetal development. Chromosomes are the microstructures in human cells that consist of DNA. The DNA sequences which make up each of our chromosomes contains thousands of genes, and these genes are the blueprints for every organ and tissue, as well as our individual characteristics. In humans, all nucleated cells contain 23 pairs of chromosomes, for a total of 46. The chromosomes are labelled 1 to 22, from largest to smallest. The 23rd pair are the sex chromosomes, XX for female or XY for male. It is very important for normal development and function that a cell has this exact number of 46 chromosomes. Mature reproductive cells will not contain pairs of chromosomes. Both the egg and sperm should only contain 23 chromosomes, half the chromosomal complement. Ideally, during fertilization, the egg and sperm each contribute 23 chromosomes. So the resulting embryo will have 46 chromosomes, an embryo that has the correct number of 46 chromosomes is known as a euploid embryo. There is a risk that the sperm or egg may contain an extra chromosome or may be missing a chromosome. This will lead to the fertilization of a chromosomally abnormal embryo or an aneuploid embryo. An embryo with too many or too few chromosomes may either fail to implant in a woman's uterus or it may result in miscarriage. About 70% of miscarriages are caused by aneuploid or chromosomally abnormal embryos. In rare instances, an aneuploid embryo may result in a child with a chromosomal disorder. An example of chromosomal disorder is Down syndrome, which is when there is an extra copy of chromosome 21. Mosaicism is when there is more than one cell line present in the embryo. So there is the presence of both chromosomally abnormal and chromosomally normal cells. CCRM has some of the lowest mosaicism rates in the world. Only about 3% of embryos that have undergone CCS testing at CCRM Genetics are mosaic. As a woman ages, the quantity and quality of her eggs declines, and she has an increased risk of having eggs with too few or too many chromosomes. This means her chances of creating an embryo with chromosome abnormalities or aneuploid also increases. At CCRM, we report some of the highest euploid rates in the world, resulting in more euploid embryos for our patients. About half of the embryos from a woman who is 38 years old will contain chromosome abnormalities. As she gets older, this number will continue to increase. And by age 45, about 90% of a woman's embryos will be chromosomally abnormal. CCS is an optional procedure performed during the IVF process. CCRM is a pioneer in the development and use of CCS. We were the first IVF clinics worldwide to test 23 pairs of chromosomes at the blasted stage and transfer euploid embryos. Transferring chromosomally normal embryos significantly decreases your chance of miscarriage and is the fastest path to a successful live birth. Since 2007, more than 10,000 chromosomally normal babies have been born as a result of CCS at CCRM. The day of egg retrieval is day zero in our timeline. This is the day that the eggs and sperm are collected. Each mature egg that is retrieved will be fertilized using intracytoplasmic sperm injection or ICSI. With ICSI, a single sperm is injected into a single egg. On day one, the embryologist will come into the lab and check the embryos for fertilization. Over the next several days, the fertilized egg will begin to grow and divide. Around day five through day seven, the embryos will be made up of approximately 80 to 100 cells, which is known as the blastocyst stage of development. It's important to understand that not all of your embryos may grow or reach the blastocyst stage. When an embryo does reach the blastocyst stage, the embryologist will remove three to six cells from an embryo through biopsy. 
The cells that are removed are from the trophectoderm, which are the cells that will form the future placenta. Cells are not removed from the inner cell mass, which will form the future fetus. The risk of damage to the embryo is very rare, occurring less than 1% of the time. While you wait for your results, your embryos are frozen and stored in the lab. CCRM uses a freezing process called vitrification, which is the most advanced freezing process available with an embryo survival rate of greater than 98%. The biopsy cells are then analysed in our genetics lab to count the number of chromosomes that came from your embryo. Chromosomally normal embryos with 46 chromosomes are available for transfer giving patients the best chance for a successful pregnancy. You and your doctor will discuss your CCS results, embryo quality, as well as the next steps which may include planning your frozen embryo transfer. You may also contact CCRM Genetics if you have questions regarding your report. If you and or your partner are carriers of a gene mutation, please ask your doctor about pre-implantation genetic testing for single gene disorders also known as PGTM. If you are unsure if you and or your partner are carriers of a gene mutation, ask your doctor about a genetic risk assessment. Please note that with each new conception, there is a 3-5% to risk for a new birth defect to occur, which was not inherited and cannot be tested with CCS. If you have any questions about CCS and how it could increase your chances of a successful pregnancy, please speak with a CCRM doctor.